In the boundless domain that is PTJ Comics Privated Videos, lies an almost negligible minority of videos that provide information about the Lickism storyline which is not really meant to be revealed. Many of you are probably familiar with a number of these videos, such as the one which mentions a character who will reveal Gunn's true side by dying, but what if I told you that these private videos also abide by the law of polarity? What if I told you that amongst all the hidden MP4 files, lies one that mentions a character coming back to life? Pardon my being over dramatic, but I'm basically trying to say that I found a clip of PTJ talking about bringing a character back. I don't want to take credit for finding this in case it ends up actually happening, so to be more precise, I found a post on reddit by this guy that basically says that in one of PTJ's old videos, he talks about the character being resurrected into the series. The original poster also mentions that this character is in Jiho, although he didn't provide any information about this. Regardless, I'd like to quickly talk about why I think the most plausible answer for this question would be Ali Wang, even though I don't believe he will ever come back. So the main candidates that people have set for anyone who could be resurrected other than Jiho are Ali and Ji Chang. But I'm not really gonna waste my time talking about Ji Chang for a couple of reasons. First of all, which I think is probably the biggest reason Ji Chang is not a valid candidate for this question, is the fact that this video was uploaded prior to his death. I don't have the specific date for when the video was uploaded because it's privated now, so you're just gonna have to trust me bro on this one I guess. But for reference, just so you don't call me a fraud, there's another post made on Reddit by someone referencing the same video which was made on December 29th of 2022, and the date that Ji Chang slipped and fell on a bullet was chapter 441. Another in other words, March 23rd, 2023. Another reason I don't think this character would be Ji Chang is the fact that his body was shown on the news, which means it had been found by the authorities and most likely taken to a hospital. Yet this character still ended up having a funeral made for him, which means he died. Well, usually the people who are on board with the theory that Ali Wang may pull a Kaida based their theory around the conversations had between Zhou Han and these two characters, whose names I forgot. Basically, these two men were some of the closest people to Ali. They were the people supposedly holding his ashes in chapter 283. So for these characters, to be questioning his death is in and of itself very questionable unless they were scheming something. As a matter of fact, we never saw the floor that Ali fell on and we never saw his body after he jumped off the building, which you would think would be because PTJ doesn't want to show or draw a dead body with limbs flying everywhere. But you have to remember that this guy drew Ji Chang dead on the ground. He drew Vin Jin after his face was morphed into a sponge by Tae Jin and he also drew Vin's sister after getting, you know. This is all not to mention the shit that he drew in other PTJ universe series as well. So you're basically saying that the two characters closest to Ali Wang at the time did didn't see his body before he got cremated, and yet they were still holding a container of his ashes, whilst being suspicious if they even are his ashes in the first place. Yeah, that's exactly what happened actually. I don't really believe that this theory could come true, even though I've seen some people talk about PTJ toying with this idea, but I just think it doesn't make sense. A character who died so meaningfully, he died a perfect death with perfect reasoning behind it. I personally think if you want to bring back a character that is even remotely close to Ali Wang, you would wait a generation's time and start the next generation with this guy, Eli Jang number two. And if you really hung on the idea of bringing a dead character back to the story, you would bring back Jiho, even if it would make you less of a man because you're taking back a decision that pretty much everyone disagrees with, and I'm talking about killing Jiho by the way, which is pretty much a statement at this point. But if you want to bring back a character from the dead, you would bring him back. He had a perfect setup to become Lucasum's final and best villain, if not the penultimate one, and everyone was on board with the idea, yet he died because actually we don't even know why he died, he just fell off the building.